Hi, and welcome to Unwrapping in 3ds Max from Focal Press and 3 d gamescom In this video, we'll be expanding upon the chair created during the Building Basic Objects video and use it to demonstrate how to apply and use the Unwrap UVW modifier to apply a texture map to a model. I'll also be going through the basics of the UV Texture Editor window. In the scene to the left is the original chair model. I use the extrude, chamfer, cut and target weld functions along with the standard translation tools move, rotate and scale to modify the chair and work into it to produce the untextured version in the middle. As target weld was not in the previous video, I'll demonstrate it here. Target weld is found in the modify panel under the vertex component section. To use target weld, click on the button to activate the tool. Then left click on the vertex you want to weld and then select the vertex you want to weld to select the vertex to. I use this to quickly modify a few areas of the chair. I scale the tops of the feet and I move the front feet forward and the rear feet back. I then angled the back of the chair slightly using the move tool. The chamfered edges are a bit too thick at present for the type of chair I'm trying to change this into, so I use the move tool to adjust them. The next step was to extrude the cushion from the seat. Select the face and use Extrude. The last step for modifying the chair was to chamfer the two front corner edges at the top border of the cushion. With the chair modified and matching the desired chair in the middle, we can now begin the unwrapping process. This process involves laying out the faces of the model so that an image or texture can be assigned to that face and be clearly seen. In 3ds Max there are two modifiers that allow us to do this. Both are found in the modifier list. The first and simplest is the UVW map modifier. This will assign a set of mapping coordinates to the model based on the selected settings. I'll assign this modifier to the chair now to show the settings but I won't be going into too much detail as we won't be using this method. The first set of options are the type of mapping coordinates that control how the texture is projected onto the model. The gizmo will change as I toggle through the types. There are planar, which is a flat projection, cylindrical, spherical, shrink wrap, box and face. The length, width and height settings change the size of the gizmo. The UVW tile control values can be changed in the required axis to repeat or tile an image in that axis. Finally, I will run through the alignment settings. The top option allowing you to align the gizmo to the selected axis X, Y or Z. The rest of the alignment options are Manipulate, this allows you to manually adjust the gizmo Fit, which will change the gizmo to fit the model Center, which will match the center of the gizmo with the center of the object Bitmap Fit, the gizmo is adjusted to match a selected image size or aspect ratio Normal Align, will align the gizmo with the normal beneath the mouse pointer Click and drag over the model to move it around. View Align will orientate the gizmo to face the current view. Region Fit, this allows you to use click and drag in the viewport to create the gizmo. Reset, this will put the gizmo back into its default position. And Acquire. This enables you to get the mapping coordinates from another object. 
More information about UVW Map and the features I didn't cover can be found in the Help section of 3ds Max. The UVW Map modifier works best for basic geometrical shapes. The limitation of the UVW Map being that you can't apply different unwrapping techniques on a sub-object level, or edit the UVs afterwards. These are the reasons why I won't be using it on the chair. I'll be using an Unwrap UVW modifier as it will allow me to use multiple types of mapping coordinates on sub-object components. This modifier can be used to unwrap or edit existing UVW coordinates on a model. First, let's assign Unwrap UVW to the chair. I'll run through the settings first and then use the tools to demonstrate how to unwrap the chair model. You can expand the Unwrap UVW stack to select the component mode you wish to work with. These include Vertex, Edge or Face. I prefer to work in Face mode. The selection parameters are first. The plus and minus symbols will select or deselect adjacent faces to the selected face. Ring and loop only work for edge selection. Ring selects all of the edges parallel to the selected edge. Loop expands the selection to the full edge loop the selected edge is part of. Ignore back facing when checked on will not select faces that are not visible to the viewport. Turn this off if you want to select faces on all sides of the model at once. Select by element lets you select sections of the model if your model is made up of multiple meshes which are not connected at a sub-object level. In this case the chair is one solid mesh therefore it is one element. I really like the planar angle selection tool as it allows you to select multiple faces that are coplanar and attached to each other with one click. I'll be leaving that on. Select Mat ID allows face selection by material ID. Select SG allows face selection by smoothing group. I have different smoothing groups on the chair so you can see as I change the smoothing group number the selection changes. Under the parameters heading you will find the edit button. This will open the UV editor window and show you the UV coordinates allowing you to edit them. The display group below this is useful for seeing UV shell seams in the viewport. They can be toggled on and off. You can also choose between thick or thin seams. Moving to the map parameters panel, the X, Y and Z options allow you to choose the axis the gizmo will be aligned to. The default is set to average normals. You can use a few techniques to unwrap a model, most are self-explanatory. These are Quick Planar Map, another useful tool for an object like the chair. This will planar map the selected face based on the orientation of the gizmo. Planar, which is good for flat surfaces. Pelt, is useful for organic models such as characters. Cylindrical, this applies a cylindrical unwrap to the selected faces. Spherical, works best for unwrapping spherical shapes. Box. This tries to map each selected face to the side of the box gizmo that most closely matches its orientation. I'll ignore spline for now. For the alignment tools, these work in a similar fashion to the ones covered in the UVW map modifier. Align XYZ aligns the gizmo to the X, Y and Z axis of the object's local coordinate system. Best Align. I usually tend to use this method the most when unwrapping objects. It adjusts the mapping gizmo's position, orientation and scale to fit that of the face selection. Fit. Scales the gizmo to the extent of the selection and centers it on the selection. Align to View 
We'll orientate the gizmo to face the current view. Center will match the center of the gizmo with the center of the object. Reset scales the gizmo to fit the selection and aligns it with the subobject's local space. All the seam options at the bottom of the panel deal with pelt mapping, so we won't cover them this time. Now for the unwrapping of the chair using the tools and modifiers we've just covered. By leaving the average normals and the planar angle selection tool on, and using the quick planar tool, you can quickly unwrap a hard surface model. I use these settings to unwrap the chair. For the chair model, I won't need any of the other options, but they function in a similar way. I'll demonstrate a cylindrical unwrap on a leg. Select the faces, then apply the cylindrical unwrap. More often than not, the gizmo will not be aligned to the selection. Use one of the alignment options to fix it. In this instance, I use Best Align. Open the Edit UVWs window, I can see the result. The shape of your model and needs of the UV layout will usually determine which type of projection you will use. Practice and experience from unwrapping and texturing models will allow you to see in advance which approach is best. OK, moving on with the chair model. I'll apply a wood shader, which I've previously set up. In face mode, select the different areas of the chair one by one and apply a quick planar map to them. I'll start with the sides. I tend to open the Edit UVWs window each time to move the freshly unwrapped faces outside the main area to keep things clean and not all on top of each other. Repeating these steps each time until the chair is unwrapped. I'm only going to do a few faces on the model for now, the sides, front and back. As I go into the Edit UVWs window and move the UV shells around, you will notice that edges that are shared with the selected shell are highlighted purple. I use this to position shared edges near each other and scale the shells so the texture resolution will be consistent all over the model. This enables me to keep a consistent pixel size across the model so that no one area has more or less texture space than another. It would look very odd if it did. Now that I have the front, back and sides unwrapped, I'll go through some features and the user interface of the Edit UVWs window. The main area of the window is the work area, where you'll lay out the unwrapped UVs. You can move, rotate and scale the UVs in this space by using the tools in the top left of the window, below the menu, or by using the same hotkeys in the viewport for moving objects. To navigate the workspace, scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Hold and drag to pan around. Otherwise, the usual navigation tools are in the bottom right of the workspace. These are Pan, Zoom, Zoom Region and Zoom Extents. Along the top is the main menu, which will give you access to all the tools and options, some of which will be discussed shortly. The checker box in the centre is the show map toggle. The drop down box to the right allows you to select the texture if there is more than one assigned to the mesh. The options panel below the window on the left houses the selection tools, most of which will be familiar to you from the modify panel. Let me draw your attention to the main selection mode buttons in the centre. These allow you to select vertices edges or faces. Again, you can use the standard hotkeys 1 for vertices, 2 for edges and 3 for faces. Below these you have the Select Element checkbox. When checked as on, this will pick an entire UV shell with one click. This can be a good time saver when working with more complex models with many UV shells. Just to the right are four very handy tools. The rotate plus or minus 90 degrees buttons, which will rotate the selected item accordingly. And besides these are the align horizontal and align vertical buttons. 
These will let you align any selected edges or vertices in the vertical or horizontal axis, as I'm doing in the work area now. OK, let's get back to unwrapping the chair. We need to consider how to finish the unwrap. A chair will have the wood grain running in specific directions on each element, for example the legs or back. Looking at the model in the viewport, I can see the legs have the grain running horizontally. I'll need to break those faces away from the rest of the UV shell to rotate them to get the grain running vertically. Selecting the legs, I then go to the main menu, Tools, Break. This will separate the selected faces. I'll then use the Rotate tool to rotate them 90 degrees. I then rotated some of the legs to ensure the straight edge was parallel to the horizontal grid. Going back to the viewport, we can see the grain is running vertically down the leg. The next step is to use the Stitch Selected tool to have the horizontal seat section seamless around the chair as much as we can. Do this by selecting one of the edges. Note the shared purple edge is now highlighted also. Go to Menu, Tools, Stitch Selected. This will move one of the shells and stitch the shared edges vertices together. I use the back's edge to show a manual way to do this also. Line up the shared edges. Go into vertex mode. Then on main menu, tools, select target weld to activate this mode. You can also use the shortcut, control and T. Select the vertex you want to weld and drag it towards the vertex you wish to weld it to. The cursor will change over a valid component. When you release the left mouse button, the components will weld. Right click in the UV editor window to exit this mode. Repeat this for the second vertex and that's the edges welded. I proceeded to follow these steps and repeated them for each face of the model, bearing in mind how I wanted the grain to flow in different areas. To the right is the final unwrap version, which also has a second texture applied for the cushion. And that concludes this video on unwrapping in 3ds Max. Don't be afraid to check out the other unwrapping tools in 3ds Max too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next guide. For support with this video, and any of the others in the range, log on to www.3d4games.com forum and your questions will be answered once you've logged in. Good luck and goodbye.